This my show. Gameplay with Mama Mo. You didn't know Mama Mo got the words in the flow. She back with another challenge. After this, I'ma eat a sandwich. Kick back, relax in my hammock. Try not to wreak havoc. Give me wings so I can fly. Don't forget to like and hit that bell to be notified. Wanna join the fam or head and subscribe? It costs you nothing to join the tribe. Let's ride. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's Mama Mo here. So glad that you have decided to grace my page with your presence. Now, in today's video, we have another Sims 4 budget challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, appreciate it. Yes. Now, before we get started, let's just do a rundown of the requirements. Subscribers determines the budget and also determines the number of people in the household. You can pause here to get more detail on that. Now, I decided to use the wheel of names to determine the map that the house would be built on, the number of floors the house would have, and also the number of rooms, which could really be a challenge depending on how many people are in the house and the budget. But we'll get into that in more detail in the video. Let's get started. All right, you guys. So willofnames.com has selected a world that this family is going to be living in and Glimmer Brook is the winner. Now, one of the things that I didn't do with this family that I will be doing with the other families is I didn't really create the family based off of where they were going to be living. I actually created the family first. And when I created the family, I had a completely different thought of who they were and where they would live and what they would do with their lives and stuff. So this is the family. This is Adrian and Callie Jean. Young couple, freshly married, out in the world, trying to make it, you know, not a whole lot of money, but they have each other. So I'm thinking maybe she'd work at the barista and he would do like some freelancing work just so they can, you know, make ends meet. And eventually money will start to roll in. I would move them to another world, maybe get them a bigger house because now it's time to raise a family. You know, I'm thinking all of this stuff while I created this family. Not realizing that they were going to end up in Glimmerbrook. So initially, I was bummed, right? I was really bummed because I was like hoping for Glimmerbrook for a higher budget challenge. Because um, I had like a whole little, this is what it's going to be like in this world. Like I had a whole storyline for Glimmerbrook. But it required a, a larger budget, not 15000 now we get to Glimmerbrook and the only lot that they could afford was $23.50. So we don't even have $15,000 to build the house. We have $12,650 to build the house. So I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, what kind of storyline can I create to really fit the narrative of how I'm going to build this house? And why I'm building this house. Because as you've seen in the previous clip, the neighborhood has big houses, they have big windows, and I am I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do that with you know twelve thousand dollars. But that's okay because when life gives you lemons, honey, you make lemonade, lemon meringue pie, lemon martinez. I don't care. You use those lemons. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, okay, well, let's just figure out how many floors we're going to have for this house and how many rooms we're going to have before I really get into the backstory, right? So then I went back to willofnames.com and selected the number of uh, floors, which, my goodness, I'm so glad we only had to do one floor. <laughs> 
one floor was the winner. And then I was like, okay, well, let's figure out how many rooms we need to have. And willownames.com said two. Put two rooms in that house. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I decided that this story is going to be like a... <laughs> I don't know, like a, a, a grim, like a grim story about Adrian and Callie Jean. So let's let's just change the music, set the mood, and check this out. So here is the story of Callie and Adrian Jean. Now this is a newlywed couple set out on the world to make something of themselves eventually they wanted to have children buy a house in the country and they just had so many plans and aspirations for their lives right so they scheduled an appointment to look at an apartment and they set out you know again they're new to mobile so they're just traveling Then their car breaks down. And when their car breaks down, they notice that they don't know where they are. They're out near like a woodsy area. It's real misty. And they sit in the car and they, they hope that another car passes. But an hour go by, two hours go by. They've been sitting in the car for five hours hours of course getting out occasionally to have like you know a wooded area bathroom break if you catch my drift and not one car has drove past them so they make the decision to get out and go find help so they're walking they get lost in the woods and the sun's starting to go down so kelly gets a little bit nervous and adrian you know, encourages her like, yo, let's just keep going until we can at least find a house. And then they stumble across Limber Brooks neighborhood. Now, before they can get to the bigger houses up the hill, they manage to find this house, the one I'm building right now. Now this house, you know, it's a lot, it, it, it doesn't look like it fits in this neighborhood but it's still a house right so they go up they knock on the door and this old woman answers the door and her name is may they said you know our car broke down you know we need some help we don't know where we are can you um let us in can we use your phone And she's like, I don't have a phone, but you can certainly come in and get out of the cold. I mean, this lady was so sweet. You know, she invited him in. She had him sit by the fire. And, you know, she said, well, what I can do is, you know, I can let you guys stay here for the night because it's getting dark. And then tomorrow I'll take you into town and you can talk to the mechanic. So they, you know, they're like, okay, that sounds good. So then her husband comes out of the room, and his name is Jay. So it's May and Jay. He introduces himself to uh, the couple, but he doesn't really talk. He just kind of looks at him and nods and smiles. And then he looks over at May, and he smiles at her, and then he goes back into the room. So then May, she's like, oh, you guys must be hungry. You know, how rude am I? You know, so she gets up and she starts cooking and stuff. Now, originally when she was cooking, you know, that was just like, yo, what the f- are you putting in that pot? Like, it it was reek, y'all. It was, it stunk. And, <laughs> but she assured him that, you know, she catches, um, wildlife out in her backyard and sometimes you know the way she has to process the meat it doesn't smell all that great but it is to die for right 
So she finishes the meal and they sit down at the table and they're a little hesitant because they just smelled like death for the last 45 minutes as she was cooking and didn't want to taste the food, but they were hungry and they didn't want to seem rude. Now, let me, I'm just going to say this right here, y'all. Stop with the passive aggressiveness. <laughs> if you don't like something, just say, no, thank you. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it smells. It, I, the texture doesn't look right to me. Like, whatever you have to say, if you don't want to eat it, don't eat it. Unfortunately, Adrian and Callie did not say that. So they picked up their spoons and started scooping. Now, to their surprise, just like May said, the food was actually good. So they just continued to eat. And they eat and eat and eat and eat and gobbled it all up. They passed out. Because they never made it to that appointment to see that apartment. They never made it to anything else. You see, May and Jay were witches. May actually was a very powerful witch in her day. But she was a very evil witch. She practiced a lot of dark magic, a lot of forbidden magic that was frowned upon with the elders in the magical realm. Now one day, May was upset because the elders didn't recognize her talent as she would say. So she traveled to the magical realm with these potion bombs and started throwing them at people at the school and went to the cottage and started throwing them at people in the market and was casting these curses on people. Well, the elders didn't like that and they band together and they defeated. Now, it's forbidden for one witch to kill another. So they couldn't just destroy her. They had to find a way to keep her from wreaking havoc again with her magic. So they cast her to Glimmerbrook because they couldn't keep her in the magical realm. Otherwise, she would draw the energy that surrounded in the magic realm and become powerful again maybe even more powerful than the elders. Elders bound May and Jay to the land, cursing the land so they could not grow crops or anything that would give them any type of bounty, any sort of wealth. Now, May still had magic in her. She was still a witch, but she was not as powerful as she once was. She was able to conjure up enough of her strength to bring forth the book of all. And in the book of all, she was able to create a crystal ball. Once she created the crystal ball, she used it to connect with the spirits of the dark realm. When she connected with the spirits, she pleaded with them and begged them to tell her how she could unbound herself from the land. The spirits of the dark realm gave her a ritual, but it would require self-sacrifice as she would need to now bind herself to another. Now when Callie and Adrian were knocked out. May and Jay began the ritual to bind their souls to their body. Once the ritual was complete, May rejoiced because she knew she was going to be free. She ran, and as soon as she stepped off of the property, she was pulled back so hard she hit the wall, coughing up blood. She couldn't understand. She went to her crystal ball and she asked the spirits, what did I do wrong? They laughed at her and 
said, silly, it is not your physical body that is bound to this land. It is your soul. You see, May was deceived by the spirits in the dark room. But what do you expect? They're spirits from the dark room. Now May, Jay, Callie, and Adrian are trapped on this land forever. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when more content is created. Now let's get back to the budget. Now we had $22,000 to start, but $15,000 to build the house. We couldn't go any lower than 7,000 and we ended at 7,074, which I think was amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the tour of the house. This is actually not Callie and Adrian's house. This is May and Jay's house. Now when you first come in here, you see like they have like a little dining room area. The chairs are made from like old wood that has fallen off on the property. She has her herbs and stuff hanging to dry in her little kitchenette area. This is their living room. This is actually where Callie and Adrian sat while May was cooking their death in the pot. <laughs> They were warming themselves up by the fire. Again, y'all, don't be eating people food if you don't want to eat their food. You better let them know. Now, um, this is the crystal ball that May used to connect with the elders. I mean, not the elders, but the um, spirits from the dark realm. That is the book of all that she was able to summon with the little bit of magic that she still had. This is their bathroom. I mean, because, you know, they witches, but they still got to poop. They got to, you know, take their showers and stuff. But it ain't too too much going on in here. Now, I did realize that I forgot to paint this wall. But, hey, I did it in post. So, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> now, the first room was the uh, room with the crystal ball in it. The second room is the actual bedroom. Again nothing too fancy going on because this is a part of may's punishment now granted jay was not involved in the little coup that happened in the magical realm but he was because he was the one he was kind of like her henchman like he'd do things he you know, do the dirty work. He got his hands dirty for her to get the ingredients she needed to cast spells on people, um, especially the spell bombs that she was throwing when she went to the magical realm that caused the elders to band together and create this epic battle that defeated her in the first place in themselves. They're just stuck on this property, you know, which, to be honest, I, I wouldn't risk <laughs> my freedom being stuck in a place like this. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Would you want to live here for all of eternity? Mm, let me try it again. Would you want to live in this house for all of eternity? I would have to say no. I don't even want to be stuck in this house for a weekend. I don't even care if it's a cheap Airbnb. I'm not staying here. <laughs> I ain't got no access to my phone. I can't I can't watch TV. Come on now. I at least need to get uh access to my Hulu so I can watch the Golden Girls. But you know, let me know down in the comment section below if this is a house that you would live in. And if you like this video, or even if you like the storyline that I created for this uh budget challenge. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.